Hello, Virgo viewers. I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person is feeling, thinking, um, what they might, what action they might be taking, just whatever comes up. Let's see. So for the Virgos that are okay, I guess that card wants to come out. Ooh, hello. So for the Virgos that are watching this video, that are drawn to this video, what is the message here? What's going on with your love life? Rigid denial, deceit, fulfillment, grove, lust, high priestess of earth. Okay, so I remember the last reading I did, I was getting that there was like an alpha male or someone that wants to ask you out, like someone that was like admiring your strength and your courage and independence, somebody that was seeing you as like like a potential partner in crime, like the a power couple kind of, you know, they were just really turned on by your energy. Um, I'm kind of sensing a third party energy from this, so I don't know if that person asked you out or if they're like looking at pictures of you or they're like a coworker. Or they're just, I don't know what it might, I don't know what the situation is specifically for you guys, but you would probably know. Um, but just admiring you, just just looking, like watching your beauty, there's your courage, your your bravery. So again, could be a coworker, could be somebody stalking your social media, uh, could be any number of things. But somebody that's like watching you somehow, whether it's online or in person, I just get this energy of somebody like watching your body mannerisms, like your smile, the way you talk, the way you hold yourself, your confidence, the way you dress, um, just kind of, they're just really turned on by you. I'm sensing a third party situation though, so I don't know. I mean, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's like either somebody that this person is still with or somebody like, or like an ex, like a bitter, jealous, insecure, controlling ex that's aware that this alpha that their alpha male or is moving towards you and admiring you it's that kind of energy i don't know why i always see a movie theater <laughs> i don't know what that's about because <laughs> it's like this person is like admiring you and turned on by you and wanting to get to know you better and then you have this jealous energy over here that's aware of that and like wants to block it you know So yeah, third party energy here. I do feel like this alpha male that wants to ask you out, or it could be, again, vice versa. It could be like a woman that's wanting to ask you out. It could be either way. It could be a really strong independent woman that's wanting to ask you out, or it's a really strong independent alpha male type that's wanting to ask you out, however that goes for you. Um, but this other person is like aware that the person they're in love with is wanting to ask you out, basically, is what I get from this reading. See, we have rigid and the d denial here. So it's like she's this energy right here, this this woman or this man um, is deceitful and manipulative. And she's aware like this situation is rigid, like it's over. So they could they could still be together, but he could just be miserable and like trying to get away from her and just kind of over the whole relationship. Like he sees this person as controlling, as manipulative, as insecure, as weak minded like not his other half. This is somebody who's just like dragging him down and he's just, he's tired of her. He's sick of her shit. Um, so if it's not somebody he's with, it could be like an ex that's manipulating him. Like could be using the kids against him if they have kids. Uh, could be just starting spreading rumors about him. Just kind of, she's, she's like the slit your tires type is what I get from this energy. It's like, she's like, she'll do whatever she needs to do to control him and try to drag him down and keep him tied down. But he's miserable with her. He's not in love with her anymore. Whoever this is, whether they're together or not, if they are together, it's, like, out of obligation because she's, like, controlling him and forcing him and he doesn't want the drama. Um, or if they're not together, it's, like, she's just trying to be manipulative and still trying to mess his life up. Um, but she's kind of crazy. So whoever she is, whoever he or she is, they're kind of crazy. Pretty crazy, actually. Yeah, it's like it's rigid, and this person's in denial about it. Like, 
it's it's like it's blocked. It's over. It's, there's nothing happening here. But they're in denial. They're not letting. They're digging their claws in and not wanting to let the relationship go. And they're willing to be deceitful. They're willing to lie. They're willing to manipulate. They're willing to do whatever they need to do to control this person and stop them from coming forward and asking you out and making an effort for you. Like they're willing to do whatever they have to do. They're they're just look at her. She's just yeah yeah. I don't like that energy at all. Just deceitful, manipulative. Could be spreading rumors about you too. Could be people. Could be like. Lying about you to, to your person also. But she's aware of you. Whether she caught him looking on your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever, social media. Um, she's Or she saw, like, if you guys ran into each other in person and she just noticed the way he looks at you. Or if, like, you would go to, maybe you have, like, a club or something you used to go to together. Like, you all used to see each other at. And, like, they're just something of that sort. Like, she's just aware of how he looks at you, how he sees you, you know? Um, or again, it could be, it could be male, male, female, female, could be male, female, however that plays out. It could be, um, a man that's aware of how his woman is, is seeing somebody else or a man who's aware of how his man is seeing somebody else. However, the, you know what your situation is, you know, what, what energy is which. So, um, anyway, this person's aware that like they're, that you're, that, this alpha male's fulfillment is with you. That they're healing this grove, this this little kitty here. I think we have like a mushroom and a kitty here. This this grove, this healing, this sacred space, this safety is with you. Their fulfillment, their happiness is with you. Their um, you know, lust. I feel like oh damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> lust. I feel like is actually kind of a good thing in this reading. I feel like it's more like. Look how jealous she is. She's just like, she's like, no, that's my man. No, it's not, though. It's not your man anymore. They're over you. They're fucking over you. <laughs> anyway, lust, the lust card here, it's like, it feels like passion. It's like, look how he's like giving into her. It's like passionate. It's romantic. It's fun. It's like adventurous. It's, it's new. It's, you know, like you see how she's like holding him. She's just like, he's giving into her. He feels vulnerable and safe with this person. He does not feel vulnerable or safe or in love or any of those things with this person. Not at all. But with this person here with you, it's like, he feels like vulnerable and safe and open and sexual and romantic. Can, I think it's kind of likely too, that even if, the, if they are together or whatever the situation was, he got to a point where he didn't even want to have sex with her anymore, where she would try to force it. And he was just like, uh, not really feeling it, like, just kind of over it, you know, like, just not wanting that with her anymore, just tired of her, it's, like, such a controlled, toxic, stagnant energy, and he's aware of that energy, and he does not want anything to do with this person, so if he, again, if he is with her, he's trying to get away, um, and she's, again, she's bitter, and she's controlling, and manipulative, and, like, clingy, and you're, you're, like, fun, and adventurous, and passionate, and it's, like, free spirited and creative and open minded and you're like all you're all the things that she's not and he's well aware of it. You know, this is like this is like new love. This is like it's just adventure and passion and happiness. It's really it's a good energy for sure. I'm gonna go get my cards off the floor. <laughs> Before I forget. Alright. Let's cover this bitch up. We don't need her anymore. You don't need her anymore. We got you. It could be another earth sign you're dealing with too, but this is like, it's just saying it's a more grounded, more stable relationship, basically. Um, what else can we say about this connection? What else is there to say? What do we need to know? What is, what needs, what should I ask? Let me see what I got. Yeah, honesty. Like he's, he's starting to be more honest with himself about what he wants and what he feels. And he's like, you know what? This karmic is fucking nuts and she's driving me crazy and I don't want to deal with it anymore. He's finally like facing that truth. Like, I don't know what she's doing lately, but it's like, she's just, he sees her as like a fucking nutcase. Like he's just, he wants out of that. Whatever that situation is, he wants something that's fun and exciting and adventurous and somebody who's open-minded and somebody who's just bold and strong and confident and on his level, you know, and this, this, this karmic is not on his level. She's so insecure and bitter and he's so turned off by that insecurity and bitterness. Um, what do I want to ask here? 
do I want to ask? Is he moving away from the karmic? So like, well, I feel like he is. I mean, we're getting that energy. Hmm. What else do we need to know about the situation? That's a good question. What else do we need to know about this? Like any insight on how to get rid of the karmic or what's just, what's, what, the, what is the deal here? Like what else do we need to know? What else is going on? Self-worth upside down, loyalty, choices, chaos, letting go, listening, and belonging. Okay. I feel like your masculine has a very strong sense of honor and integrity. So there's like this loyalty to an extent to her, but it's like, I don't even know if loyalty is the right word. It's almost like. It's just like obligation more than loyalty. It's, it's kind of, it's like maybe she got pregnant or had kid, like they have a kid together or like she threatens to hurt herself if he leaves or she, you know, cries and begs for him to stay or um, some kind of manipulation. But it's like he has a lot of honor and integrity. So it's like he's trying to do the right thing. So he's definitely not in love with her. There's not like a close connection there anymore, but it's like he feels bad for her or he feels like there's some obligation kind of tying him down to her, um, even though he does want to leave. Like if she were to be okay without him and like just let him go, he would be thrilled is what I feel. Like I don't even really get like a codependent energy from this. I mean, a lot of times like if I, if I channel a third party, sometimes I get like, Oh, he kind of wants to leave, but he's he still loves her to some extent, and he's going back and forth, and he's hurt by her. I don't even get that energy from this reading. I actually get that he's just over her, that there's no love there, that she pretty much sickens him, that, that her energy is just, he thinks she's weak-minded, he thinks she's manipulative, like he's, he's so just over her. He's so sick of her face, is what I get from this reading. Like he's, there's no love there on his end. Could even be that she was manipulating him for finances. Like if he was financially supporting her, maybe she's trying to manipulate him because she wants to keep that financial flow coming in. I think too, like he's wanting, I feel like he has a lot of sexual thoughts about you and he does, he does want to get to know you better and he wants to be closer to you. Um, I kind of feel like the loyalty thing too is maybe he's just never, this is for those of you where he's actually still with her. Um, or still with him or whatever the situation is. Uh, maybe he's just never cheated before or he has years ago and he's made a vow to himself that he's never going to cheat again. And so it's like even though he doesn't want to be with her, he doesn't want to ever cheat. That's not really about her. It's about him. It's like he just doesn't want to ever be the kind of person that cheats. Either he never has or he has in the past and he doesn't ever want to do that again. So he's like, He's like, I don't want to be a cheater. So even though I really want this other person and I want to, you know, make love to them and be with them and kiss them, I, I got to wait. I got to figure out how to get rid of this karmic first before I can move forward and do that. Um, <clears throat> See, it's interesting that the self-worth card is like upside down. So it's almost like his self-worth is kind of tied to that loyal energy as well. It's like... I feel like she's dragged him down. Like, he's usually a very confident man, a very, like, alpha male type, I feel. But I think she has kind of dragged him down and done, done a number on his head. Um, I also think the, the self-worth upside down is saying, I mean, self-worth upside down would be, like, insecurity. It'd be, like, not feeling like your true full self, you know? And I think it's also just, like, saying that I, I feel like, I actually do feel like he's pretty confident. I mean, she has kind of messed with his head, but I do think that he has... Like, I don't sense him being an insecure person naturally. I mean, I think that she's there's probably trauma there from her, but but for the most part, I do feel like he probably loves himself. Um, but yeah, self-worth upside down. So that insecurity is also tied to loyalty, like you were saying. It's like a lot of honor and integrity. This is kind of like a knight type of energy. It's like somebody who's just always wants to do the right thing. Um, it makes sense with like an alpha male type because it's like they, they, an alpha male would 
put their own integrity and put their, um, they would be strong in their integrity and who they are, you know, like they, they know who they are. They're, they're strong in themselves. They're strong with their moral code. So it's like, if they don't cheat, they don't cheat. Like they, they do, they follow through. They do what they say they're going to do. They are, they're, um, you know, this man is strong. He's, he's hard on himself sometimes. He's like, I'm, he's, he's just, he's, he's just an honest man. He's just, he's going to do what he says he's going to do. He's going to, he's the type that's going to follow through with his promises, even if he doesn't want to, you know, um, just that night type of energy is what I'm get, getting from that. So it's like his sense of self-worth is kind of tied to his ability to, um, to stick to his moral code. But with that being said, he's not going to be able to hold on to this for much longer. He's trying to be like logical and do the right thing and blah, blah, blah. But there's going to be more chaos if he holds on to this. If he keeps trying to do the right thing when he's absolutely miserable and he keeps ignoring his heart, this chaos is going to come in. His guides are going to come mess this relationship up and end this relationship with the karmic so that he can come be with you. Um, and it's just going to get more chaotic. Like, she's, this person's crazy. Like, this is a crazy ass bitch is I'm what I'm picking up. Like, she's like, again, like, slit your tires type. Like, do anything to control him and manipulate him. Like, she, she knows he has that night energy and she exploits it. You know, he's got that, like, I'm going to do the right thing kind of energy. And she, she digs her little nails in and she exploits that energy and, and manipulates him with it. Like, Oh, you can't leave because you promised this. You promised you were always, you were going to stick on my side. You promised me we were going to raise this kid together. You promised me this and this and this. So you can't leave me. You know, what kind of man would you be if you leave me? And it's like, oh, then his manhood gets all offended, all hurt. And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but, but yeah, the chaos is coming in. Like he's not, if he tries to hold on, it's just, it's going to, it's going to get more and more chaotic. There's going to be worse and worse fights. There's going to, she's going to get crazier and crazier and more controlling and he might try to ignore his heart, but he's going to be pulling away more and more. It's like he can only, he can't just, he feels like he can just be in a situation where he's numb and miserable just because he wants to do the right thing. But it's like, you can, you no, you can't do that. You're going to explode eventually. It's going to get more chaotic. Like you can't just do the right thing even when you're, I mean, it's not the right thing. That's the thing is it's like she's manipulating him into thinking it's the right thing because he made these promises to her in the past but it's like, you know what? Things change. Like, yeah, maybe years ago he or months ago he promised, you know, I'll stick by your side. But it's like if she ended up not showing her true colors at Ferguson, now her true colors are coming out, then, you know, things change. Like, you don't have to stick to those promises anymore if the person is not who they said they were. Um, and he's not really fully getting that. He's just like, yeah, he's like he's feeling obligated to her for whatever reason be it kids or her words or her, her energy, what she's saying, whatever it is, he just feels a sense of obligation. But again, there's no love there on his end. I don't feel it at all. I feel like he really just wants out. Um, and he's just like numb and alone. And he's just trying to, he's more on the logical side. I sense this is like, I mean, I think he's emotional and open with you, but I feel like in general in his life, like you see his softer, more vulnerable side, but in general in his life, I feel like he's more like logical and kind of reserved. Um, And so, yeah, he's trying to make these choices. But again, like I said, chaos is coming in, so he can't hold on to it. The, the fights are going to get worse. The, the energy is going to get more chaotic. She's going to get crazier. It, it's like he can't, he can't keep doing this. And he's going to be forced to let go. He's going to be forced to let go of this. Like he's, or he's just going to hate his life more and more. Like he's going to have to let go. He's going to have to listen to his guides. He's going to have to listen to you too. And you're going to have to listen to each other and be patient with each other. But you are his home, you are, you are, you know, that's belonging, that's, um, home, feeling vulnerable and safe, so, so again, that's just, where that's where, that's where I'm getting where he's at now, is just trying to do the right thing, but he is missing you, he is wanting to talk to you, um, he's just really, she just keeps sticking her claws in, and he doesn't know how to get out, like, he really wishes that she would just let him go and let her, them both move on, you know, but she's just, it's like, it's like the situation is stagnant, it's dead, and they're just going in circles, you know, and like, he's wishing that she would just realize, like, this, this love is over, it's dead, it's, there, there's no saving it, you know what I mean, 
but he like doesn't want to deal with the drama and he's he's feeling obligation so it's 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 interesting energy but like i said i feel like chaos is coming in so if he does keep holding on to it it's just gonna it's not gonna work it's it's gonna there's gonna be more and more explosions with them um and he probably is he does think about you sexually he doesn't think about her sexually at all he doesn't want to have sex with her um, he does think about you sexually. He does try to look at your pictures when she's not around is what I get for a lot of you. So thank you for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you'd like a paid private reading, I can look more in depth into this situation, get some more details on, you know, when or if they're coming back around, what they're feeling towards you, whatever you want to know. Um, just my contact info is below. Just email me. Thank you for watching.